Hey ladies and gents, you remember this car? This is the 1985 Volvo 240 wagon. Manual transmission, M46. That's the four speed overdrive, so it's a five speed. And a uh, slight accident in the front, which is why it has a turbo grill and a gold lip. But it comes with a ton of extra parts, including a non-turbo grill. I just like the look of this one. And a black lip as well. Let's go around the car and I'll show you what's going on with it. Uh, for being an 85, she's in pretty good shape. We don't get any salt on the roads, so there's no rust on the frame of the car. There's a little bit of rocker panel rust, as you see right here. Um, it was parked on a side that I think the water drains got stuck, and then if you're in the shade, the snow can just kind of sit there in the rain if it's parked for a while. But if you look underneath, she's a pretty rust-free car. On all the usual suspect places that sort of the salt states get up in the northeast. There's a bit of damage on the door here. Somebody bumped into it and um, they tried bondoing the door. That sort of cracked over the years and the paint's faded. But the gaps are good on the doors. Everything lines up nicely. The paint's faded. She's a, she's a desert car. Some of the rubber's a little... Uh, still has all the mud flaps though. I've got extra tail lights. I've got a whole bunch of parts here in the back. The hatch is a little bit difficult to open. You just gotta pull kind of hard. And um, extra parts that I've just acquired that don't necessarily go to the car, but uh, like the I like the GL steering wheel, so I'm gonna include one of those and then an extra regular steering wheel. Got all the parts for the air conditioning. There's the old grill that's broken. I kept it just for reference. There's a replacement non-turbo grill, a dog gate, and a ton of extra parts uh, inside here. There's gonna be a post with pictures for everything. And then we move over to this side here. Real good, this is the shiny side. This is the side you see in photos. And the extra tail light that I'm including is brand new. It's that uh, yellow Euro box. Runs and drives, 371,000 miles. All right, enough chatter. Let's go take her for a spin. The tan leather is cool, but it does have some wear and tear on it. I mean, some wear and tear is a bit of an understatement. It's worn and torn. In a minute. Okie doke manual crank windows and there's the center shifter with the overdrive button i don't think the overdrive works sometimes it's a wiring issue um, let's get her going here let me show you the engine and then we'll go for a little drive I did the timing belt a few miles ago, less than 100 miles ago. But it's been over a year because, you know, I live in LA now. pretty good. And if it matters, comes with a full tank of gas. I just like to sell my cars that way. Now, there was a small accident in the front. The hood latches, as it should, and it pops open as it should, but you can see a little bit of a uh, right there doesn't quite close on the side so it kind of um, it buckled a little bit but not terribly it seems to still line up on the edges but just these sides so that was the accident that required the grill to be put in okay 
buckle up and we'll have a bit of a test drive. I don't think the sending unit for the gas gauge works or it's giving me an intermittent signal. And of course the usual cracks on the dashboard underneath the pad. The radio is not... It, it gets power and it'll scroll through the stations but if there's no sound coming out of the speakers. There's the gas gauge now showing the full reading and then it might cut out again in a moment. She's a fun project car. There are, you know, certain things I would recommend is just do a service on the brakes. If you're a young person and you want to learn, this is a great car for that. She's not too fast. You're not going to get into trouble. Clutch feels pretty good. car to drive for, you know, being a four-cylinder. She's right back down to idle. Excellent. Blower motor. These are all the functions here for it. Temperature. Uh, yeah, so parts for the air conditioning are in the back here, but it's not connected because that little accident in the front had the front end, um, the top radiator support bar pushed into the uh, AC. So we removed the AC thing so that Soren could pull out that bar. Okay. The pocket here on the door is removed and that actually looks a lot cleaner because they do get kicked and that's probably how they break. Um, yeah, that's too bad. But uh, you know, if you buy this car and you're a young person and you wanna have some fun and you wanna tinker, the things I would recommend, you know, you, the GL wheel is really good because it's not going to be as uh, sun faded, which is the one steering wheel back there, even though it doesn't really matter. The horns work on this, and that's good news. And um, the, let's see, the clutch is good. Yeah, do some service on the brakes, you know, the usual stuff. Um, it is a good learning car. You'll, you'll learn how to replace a mirror, just a couple of screws on the inside as you pop off the cover and everything. So, um, yeah. 
there she is, 1985. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I will leave any information on the sale of this car down below in the description box. And I have a whole series of videos from the timing belt to the purchase video, and uh, what else? The uh, Some work I did acquiring parts for it. And oh, last thing to mention, the battery is brand new. That one is uh, that's a good battery. I can't get enough of this side. It's so pretty. <laughs> All right. And the back seat does fold down. And you'll have six feet of space where you can lay down. Yeah, some you know dimples in the roof. A little bit right here. A uh, small one there in the hatch. She's been a well-used car but she's still kicking and I, I helped breathe some new life into her with the work that I did up front. So that's a pretty solid engine and all the electrical is good. So have fun. And uh, here you can see a little bit of the damage that was pulled right back out. Okie doke. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye-bye.